uh, the entire allied side in and truly limit where they can go, which would be a pretty good idea and it would seal the deal pretty quickly. Yeah, and uh, funny you should mention that Panzer Elite Blob of Goodness uh, just got hit by one second arty. Let's check out his N4 HQ. Yes, and Rangers trying to take on the Panthers. We'll see how well they do. <laughs> oh wow, someone got run over by the tank. Oh, another guy got run over by the Panther. <laughs> uh, do not face Panther ass towards Bazooka. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we do have a good counter for that though, in the form of a Sherman Firefly. Ooh. With a I'm wondering when that would come out. <laughs> and a 17 panda. We have uh, the Grenadier Blob in lower left retaking territory. Uh oh, this could be the end of the Bren. Oh, he where? So, he started to move down there, but he changed. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Still alive. And Captain Crad capping the middle VP right behind the MG. Ah, oh, we don't need to turn this MG around. I'm sure the enemy will come <laughs> south, as they always do. Well, at the moment, what would you suggest the Allies actually do to counter those Panthers? Well, they're kind of doing exactly what they need to do uh, as a British player. I mean, when you have a disadvantage, you have the advantage of being able to turtle temporarily and not take a resource hit given that your uh, your HQ trucks can go ahead and give you all the excess resources for you. So I think he, they're making the right decision right now. Get a couple of fireflies out. Um, I mean, I'm sure one is technically enough uh, in terms of kiting, but I'm sure if you could get a second one out, um, that would really tip the scales in the allied favor and let them move around pretty freely. Um, even though we have Knight's Cross coming out now, which I haven't seen in forever in a 2v2. But, um, yeah, I mean, go Fireflies. I don't think Cromwells are going to help out in this situation, but uh, I don't recall, but do you guys know if the Panzer group can be called back in, or is it a one-time deal? Uh, you can call in multiple Panther... You can over. call in multiple Panther battle groups. Yep, and you called a box, we've got another Firefly out. And we have... Yeah, uh, definitely go Firefly spam. Yeah, and we have Advanced Repair that has gone up for the Grenadiers, as well as Group Zeal as and Veteran Sergeants. Tech. What time are you guys at? 21, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, yep. 20. Oh, we've got a quad out. That's what the half track was. About time. Quad's <laughs> been running around for a good five minutes without an upgrade. Well, I think... Oh, <laughs> glider's oh, falling in on the oh. left! Trying to take on the well, Grenadier Blob. Oh, wow, look at him shred up that elite infantry squad right there. Look at that. They are pretty close. Yeah, I know. Here comes the nice so cross. Oh, oh grenade. grenade! Oh! Man down. Ooh, major push on the left by the Allies. Rangers supporting a quad. <laughs> I don't think Klaus can Look stop that. Here that. they come. Panzer Lika is kind of positioned to hit the enemy Ooh, base. Look at that! Oh for the fatherland, guys. For the fatherland. Please use it. Please use it. <laughs> but of course he won't. Uh, squad down. I'm sure he forgot about it. Wow, look at that. Running away. Would you say it's a little too early, though? Nah, it's preservation. Okay. Well, on, meanwhile, on the right, Panthers are moving up into Allied territory, taking out the Vickers Nest. But Fireflies are waiting with perfect sightline. Look at that. Nothing in between. Side them <laughs> up. <laughs> with a command tank, no less. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Trench with Shrek's in it. Run away. <laughs> he, he oh, wow! Demo just in the road. They Oh man. Onage on the left of registered artillery. Nice. Lost the armor. Car. Madness, another glider. Whoa. Oh, there goes the glider. Registered artillery. Oh man. Panzer grenadiers are taking major casualties. What's falling? What's this? Oh, gr artillery? Oh. Whoa! Miscommunication there. 
I would have to say, was ist los? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's another escape of the day for the Panther. Oh yeah, I mean, practically, <laughs> practically castrated without its main gun. <laughs> <laughs> so, Box, what do you uh, what do you recommend the Wehrmacht bed is apart from getting a Panzer IV? Yeah, he does have a Panzer IV now. Of course, his double vet, which is always good. I think he's going to go for a triple veterancy right now. Let me check. Yep, he's going for triple vet tanks. He's got triple vet tanks, which I guess that'll help as long as he keeps it really far back and in a support role, as long as it's not spearheading his assault, which is, I mean, it, it's tough to not do. You know, you tend to want to go ahead and put your tank forward because it can absorb all that damage, but the uh, the Wehrmacht player has got to play it safe right now. And I, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of felt that the Axis players really had the allies, you know, kind of face down in the dirt, and all they really had to do was just stomp their boots into their neck and finish the deal, but they kind of, you know, I don't know, um, procrastinated on it, they didn't really move in, they kind of consolidated, got a little cocky maybe, and I, I really think they could have finished them off a long time ago, and now they have one hell of a fight on their hands. Yes. Definitely. Yes, and just an update on VPs, uh, since I'm on the Axis side, but since this was a replay sent by Allied players, it's kind of reversed. But Allied VPs are 391, Axis are at 248 right now, with Allies with VP majority. And what is this? Well, now I know his doctrine choice, it's Scorched Earth. Ah. Because he's building ah. a robot. That was unexpected, I have to think. He just I have expected him to go tank hunters. Yeah, I mean, look at that. He's building roadblocks up on the right with his blob. Oh, speaking of blobs. Yeah. On the left. There goes the glider. Oh, man. Bye bye. Hands it for. Hello, oh, AT gun! <laughs> Not a good place. I think the Panzer IV will win that one. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the right, the tanks with all that AT infantry trying to take out the Panthers once again. He put uh, an offensive veterancy on the tanks. Then on the left, we've got Rangers attacking. Oh man, it's a major battle on both sides. Grenade on the Knights Cross! Oh. Oh, oh, one man. second already. Commando RT actually. Ooh! Ooh! Uh, he's, uh, he's trying to go for that kill on the quad, he got it. But, is it worth it? Flames. Oh my goodness, look at. Oh, jeez. Spamot's gotta run. He's got to run now. Should have retreated much earlier. Yeah. Is that Panther gonna go down? Panzer even. Have with that <laughs> three with those armored skirts, not likely against those bazookas. And meanwhile, on the right, it's kind of it's kind of was a stalemate. Nobody on either side really won any ground, except maybe on the left with the allies. They inflicted a ton of grenadier casualties. Saying that though, they did take a lot of casualties themselves. Uh, what have we got coming out of this motor? Oh, Captain? glider coming in to try and attack the Panzer IV. <laughs> Or, no, he's trying to decap. I don't know if that was oh. worth it. Oh, over on the right. More demo charges going down. <laughs> IEDs for the win. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Final fly in. Oh, jeez, he's going to bad. Wow. Demo charge. No, he's waiting for the blob to run into it. <laughs> Why? Oh! <laughs> epic. Failure oh. for the Panzer Elite! Epic failure! Oh no! Oh, that's a dead Panther. That is so him. There's the wait, there's the Bren carrier! There's the Bren carrier! Oh get him! Get him! Get him! <laughs> oh my god! Yes, he fucked it! Oh, he did his little damage! Oh my goodness! That was a horrendous oh. loss! Oh! Whoa! Hummel! Counter battery! 